good lord. Good lord. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's my sim. That's right. Hello everybody, it is me Solita Sims. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another tutorial for you guys about something that has been requested for a long time and that is how I make my Sims 4 custom billboards. You may have seen my custom billboards in my Model Citizen series starring my up and coming model Kai Covington and the little billboards of her I have around San Myshuno for the series. And I've been asked several times, how on earth did you do this? How on earth did you override these San Myshuno billboards and create your own custom versions? So I'm gonna show you here today today how I do that. Firstly, before I get into this tutorial, I would like to thank the person actually responsible for making this tutorial, which would be Ren Sims on Twitter. She went ahead and she made a tutorial on a Google Doc about how she makes her custom billboards and I basically just followed that tutorial. However, I haven't seen any YouTube video about how to actually make these and showing you guys exactly the steps, so I figured I would go ahead and do the honors. But yes, I must give credit to Ren Sims because if I hadn't seen this pop up on my Twitter page, I would have never learned myself. So thank you so much, Ren Sims. I will leave her tutorial down below in the description of this video. Let's get into it. So there are a few things you're going to need in order to make these custom billboards. One would obviously be the Sims 4. Of course, you are going to need the Sims 4 City Living Expansion Pack. If you do not own that pack and you would like to buy it, I do happen to be an EA affiliate, meaning that whenever you use my code Solita Sims on the Sims 4's official website or on the EA app, I get a small 5% commission from that sale. So if you'd like to support me as a creator, and help keep this channel going, this would be a great way in doing so. Again, that is Solita Sims on the EA app or on the Sims 4 official website when purchasing any Sims 4 DLC. Thank you guys so much for your love and support always. This isn't exactly necessary. However, I highly recommend it would be custom poses. You can find custom poses on Pinterest, Tumblr, the Sims 4 resource, or just by searching into your browser, Sims 4 custom content poses. In order to use the poses, you are going to need the Teleport Any Sim mod by Scumbumbo and the Pose Player mod by Andrew Studio. Another thing I'd recommend, but you don't necessarily need, is maybe reshade or G-shade just to spice up your Sims pictures a bit. I personally use G-shade and I use my own presets and I also use the Boho Dreams preset, which I will leave down below. I also highly recommend using Canva. Canva is good for resizing your images for your billboards and it's also good for being able to import Simlish fonts and use Simlish fonts in your billboards if that's what you want to use. I will be using Simlish fonts in mine and Sims 4 Studio. Studio is a program that you could download on your computer and it is a program that a lot of custom content creators use. I'm pretty sure everybody has to use this in order to create custom content, but it is necessary, completely necessary. Another mod that isn't necessary, but I do recommend if you want to take pictures specifically in the daytime or the nighttime and you're worried about the lighting changing in the Sims 4 world would be Twisted Mexi's Daybreak or Underworld mod. Daybreak basically makes your Sims world sunny at all times. So it could be literally midnight and your Sims' world will still be sunny, bright, as if it was the morning. Morning. And Underworld does the opposite. If it's 7 a.m. in the morning, it's going to be pitch black outside. And lastly, you're going to need the San Myshuno billboard overrides. There's four different versions of them, and you could find the download for that down below in Ren Sims' tutorial. And every mod and program I talk about in this video will be linked down below in the description. And with that, it's time to get to making these billboards. Okay, I'm here in Tomerang with my sim self, Nikki. She looks so good. <laughs> I can't believe this is the pixel version of me. Oh my goodness. Anyways, we're here in Tomerang and I've decided I'm gonna give Nikki a little sexy photo shoot in the water, in the pool with a little bikini on. And I think I'm gonna use that for my billboard. That's what I'm thinking. So I already have this kind of prepped. So we have our little teleporters here. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it. You guys probably already know how to post Sims for photos, but if you don't, I actually happen to have a tutorial on that here on YouTube. So if you're unfamiliar with how how to post sims for pictures or machinima or whatever you can go ahead and watch that tutorial click on it teleport a sim and go ahead and teleport my girl nikki over here and then obviously she's not gonna get in the pool with this office siren outfit of hers on so i'm gonna go ahead and change her into the bikini good lord <gasps> good lord <laughs> oh my god okay that's my sim that's right. And then for the pose, I have this pose. Was it this one, pool? Yeah, it's this one. Oh my God, it looks so good. I'm gonna just put all three of those that are in the pool and we go ahead and press play. And oh, oh my goodness. Okay, it's flipped around. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use the tool mod by shift clicking on her and then pressing tool, rotate, and then we're gonna rotate her 180 degrees. Tool is also great for posing your Sims too when incidents like that happen.
open. And my goodness. <laughs> So I just gotta get the angle right. I think my preset looks pretty good. Like I said, this is Boho Dreams. And I go ahead and just F7 it. And there's my photo. Let's go ahead and try this one. Oh my goodness. I'm at a loss for words. She is so pretty. Go ahead and take that one. Yes. And then let me go ahead and see what this third one is about. She looks like she's laughing. This one's all right. This one, I'll take it just, just for fun. And that's it. I've taken my photos. So since I've taken my photos now, I can exit out of The Sims 4. And what we're going to do with these photos now is we're going to go into our editing software, whichever software you choose to pick. And we are going to make these billboards look spectacular. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So after we're done taking our fabulous pictures we are going to hop into sims 4 studio and the next thing we have to do is export the textures we need in order to make these overrides so what we're gonna have to do is luckily ren sims the original creator of this tutorial in her google doc she's actually uploaded all of the san Myshuno billboard overrides so all you have to do is just go download it from her tutorial which is linked down below so what you downloaded should look like this san Myshuno billboard overrides one two three and four so basically what we're gonna have to do with those is we're gonna have to go into sims 4 studio go over to where it has my projects and we're gonna go to each every one of them and extract or export their textures so the first one we're gonna do is sam i billboard overrides number one and the big ass billboard is gonna appear on the screen and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to here where it says texture and you're going to go down to where it says diffuse the second one not the first one and you'll see this little png image pop up we're gonna go ahead and export that image and you can name it i'm just gonna name it number one because it's the texture for billboard billboard number one so I just don't get confused and it'll be exported as a PNG right there in the same folder so we're gonna do that for all four billboards so I'm gonna go back over here to where it says file main menu go back to my projects on the right number two and number one and number two actually look pretty much identical to each other it's like the same size it's just a different image I'm just gonna go ahead and export it anyway I'm gonna name it number two and then it'll appear right there back to my projects number three number three looks a slight bit different this is the one that kind of just hangs on the side of buildings and for this one you just have to have it selected as diffuse it's already selected when you press texture so just export and i'm gonna name that one number three and save and the last one is number four and this one is a lot different than its predecessors so this one it has all these <laughs> are just different billboard posters um if you pay attention if you walk around san Myshuno, the sign will constantly change as your sims walking around and it's just a bunch of different posters you don't have to export every single one of these to change change their original photo you can just choose the first one i just choose the first one and press export and i'm going to name that one number four so now we have all four of our billboard textures that we need to make our billboards with so now that that's done we could finally go into canva or your editing software of choice i'm using canva and we can finally make these billboards so let's go do that and if you are enjoying this tutorial so far make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe it really helps me out thank you guys so much all right guys i'm here in in Canva. I went ahead and imported billboard number one's texture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to where it has the elements and I'm going to go down to where it has shapes. I'm going to go ahead and select on the square over here and it is the brat color. <laughs> That's not the color I wanted. It is supposed to be white. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to line this up as best as we can with the billboard that's already here and just try our very, very best to get it as accurate as possible. So where you can't see any of the Sims 4 billboard in the background. And I think I did a pretty good job. And then after we do that, we're gonna go ahead and import the image we wanna use to make our billboard with. So I'm gonna go ahead and import Nikki's biddies <laughs> into the, and damn, when I, when I say biddies, I mean biddies, okay? We're gonna go ahead and just match that up with the shape. It makes it so much easier than just putting the image down by itself. It's a little bit harder, I've noticed, if you don't use the shape with it. So thank you, Ren Sims, for that tip. And just like that, we have about half of the billboard done. We have the main part of the billboard done. Now we have to spice it up and add some things like text. You can choose to put whatever text you want in your billboards if you want to use English. I prefer to use Simlish and a lot of people also prefer to use Simlish in their billboards. There is a plethora of Sims 4 fonts that you are able to download. Now, how do you get these Simlish fonts? Franzilla Sims on 
Tumblr has a huge list with over a hundred plus Simlish fonts to use. There is a font for everybody, for every billboard, for every vibe you're trying to make. I will leave the link to this down below as well. I'm gonna go ahead and download this one. It's called Bobblehead Bold. I think it's... I think it's quite nice. Download it from Mod The Sims. Okay, okay. What was it called again? It was called Bobblehead Bold. Now I go over here to text, add brand fonts, and then add new font. And I'm gonna upload a font. And now I have my Simlish font. Okay, let's say, <laughs> what do I want to say for this? It's like sultry and sexy and all that. <laughs> Okay, let's see if you guys can decipher what this says, okay? Leave a comment <laughs> with your guess of what this is saying, okay? I'm not gonna tell you, but what I am gonna do is, I do like the font, so I'm gonna keep the font. I'm gonna change the color to white, and make this bigger, and then I think I'm just gonna put it in the middle. I'm not really trying hard on this one. I'm just showing y'all my process for making billboards, and then I'm also gonna add another bit of text, and I think I actually want a different font for this, so I'm gonna go download another font, and now I have this text underneath it. I'm also gonna change it to white, and I'm gonna make it just, just a little bigger, just a little bigger, and make sure it's centered right, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking it. I think we have our billboard <laughs> done. Okay. So this is what you would do for both billboard number one and two, because like I said earlier, they have the same exact PNG image. So now let's go on to what number three would look like. But first, let me go ahead and save this. We're going to save it as a PNG. And I think all these settings are just fine. And we're going to go ahead and download it. So like the first and second billboard, the third billboard pretty much has the same exact steps. We're going to go into elements. We're going to go into shape and we're going to go ahead and add that white square. And just like before, we're going to try to evenly match it up with the PNG in the texture. Do our very, very best to make it look as close as possible. Then we're going to import an image. I'm going to use a different image for this example. This is an image I uploaded already a few days ago. This is my Simself looking as cute as ever. All right, I went ahead and fitted it in with the white square. I'm just going to put the handwriting font in, maybe make it in the center. I'll just write Solita Sims for now. And what do you mean it's not spelled right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Get it, get it straight, okay. Make it really big, actually. So it looks like my signature is taking up the screen. Like I said, I'm not really trying on these. This is not my best work. All right, we'll go ahead and save that one as well. We're done with that. And lastly, we have billboard number four. Okay, I have that all lined up. And for this one, I'm gonna be a little different and I'm gonna use this photo of Shanna that I took <laughs> just for fun. I'm gonna line it up evenly. We're gonna have to crop the sides over here. And I think that looks pretty good, actually. All right, that's cute. That is so cute. She looks so good. And I'm just gonna add the same exact Simlish that I had added before. That is adorable. She looks so good. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that one. And after you are done editing your images and saving them, you can now go back into Sims 4 Studio and we're gonna finish these overrides. All right, we are back in Sims 4 Studio. And what we're going to do now is we're gonna go ahead to these files we were just clicking to get those textures. We're gonna start from the first one which is overrides number one we're gonna go back to where we exported our texture from and now we're gonna import our new texture so second diffuse and then we're instead of export this time we're gonna press import and from your files you are going to go ahead and import the billboard that you made and then over here you'll have a little preview of what that's gonna look like in game doesn't that look so good congrats you finished your billboard so you can add your custom billboards to all of these swatches up here all of them, okay? You don't need to go into two and then diffuse and export and then three and then diffuse and export. No, you don't need to do that. You only just need to do it for the first one. And then you could use that to override every single one of these swatches. So you can make up to 21 of your own custom billboards for billboard number one. Or you can upload the same billboard to all these swatches, it doesn't matter. So yeah, if I wanted to go into billboard two, I would do the same exact thing I did with billboard one. If I wanted to use the same image or different image, it doesn't matter. Diffuse two and then import, import my image, and there it is, and see? It's up there for both the first and the second swatch. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna press save and it's gonna say your package has been saved. So we are pretty much done with that. All we have to do now is just put it into game. But first I'm gonna show you how to do billboards two, three, and four as well. So back to main menu, number two, we're gonna have this billboard, same thing as before with textures, second diffuse, 
import, and we're gonna import our texture. Same exact thing. One and two are practically the same exact steps. We're gonna go down here and we're gonna press save. Like I said before, billboards three and four are a bit of a different story. So we're gonna go down to number three. We have this billboard pop up. We're gonna go to texture. Diffuse is already selected for us, so we don't have to do any more clicking. And then we're gonna press import. And then we're going to go ahead and import this one with the different texture on it. And looks perfect. Oh my God, it looks so good. I'm acting like I've never made a billboard before. I make these all the time. Amazing. And just like with billboards one and two, like I said, you can change all of these swatches. Press save. Your package has been saved. And now last but not least, number four. Now number four is a little bit more complicated, okay? So we have five different swatches, but these are for the outside of the billboard. This stuff, okay, you see two makes it green, three makes it silver, you get what I mean. In order to change the actual image on the billboard, you're gonna have to go into all of these diffuses and import whatever you wanna import. So I'm gonna go up to the first one and I'm just gonna press import. And now this one, is ready to go. And I can go ahead and put it down as many times as I want. You can override all of these until you get to this last diffuse. This last diffuse is responsible for the texture of this part of the billboard. It is not for the actual image on the billboard. So you don't want to touch this one. You don't want to touch this. You don't want to touch this. You don't want to touch this. You don't want to touch this and you don't want to touch this. But you can change every texture from this diffuse to up above just nothing down below for number four. Just wanna make that clear, cause I've made that mistake twice and it was really annoying to have to go back and fix. And just like that, we're gonna save. And we're ready to import these now into our game and see what they look like in The Sims 4. And all you have to do in order to finally see these wonderful billboards in your game is you're gonna go into your mods folder, this is my mods folder, and you're gonna drag those four overrides directly into your mods folder. If you wanna put them in a specific folder, that's fine. I just leave them like this and I don't change their names or anything. And now it's time to open The Sims 4 and finally see our billboards in San Myshuno. Okay, we are here in San Myshuno know and like I said I haven't overridden all the billboards yet but I do see mine look at it look at it it looks so good hold up let me put my DOF on look at it oh it looks glorious that's my sim self and her her biddies they're on display for the world for the sim nation to see honey just how I like it so that was one of them I'm trying to find the other ones unfortunately I don't remember where every single one of them is I found Shanna's look I found Shanna's on this one down here <laughs> look at that look how cute that is and I saw it down there as well. Look at that. She's a celebrity. And it's really that easy, guys. That is all it takes to override these billboards and put your very own in your Sims 4 game. And with that concludes this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I was able to answer any of your questions and help you guys learn something about making these billboards. I'm really excited to see the billboards you guys make. So if you do make any, make sure you tag me and please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if this tutorial helped you in any way. It really helps me out. Thank you so much. If you have any more questions or concerns, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.